Thank you. We are following breaking news this morning. A standoff in South Elgin has left a suspect shot and killed and three officers injured. CBS 2's V Win live at the scene with the latest developments for us on this 4th of July. Hi V. Yes, good morning, Marissa and Aaron. This is as close as we can get to the crime scene right now. If you take a look, you can see we still have um, a lot of investigators out here. They are still trying to process the scene, trying to figure out the timeline of what exactly happened at condo building 325. Now, what we can tell you about the three officers injured, police say they were shot during the SWAT situation with the suspect. They were taken to the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. A fourth officer was also taken to the, ho to the hospital for observation. Now, this all began when police responded to a call for shots fired last night. It happened at a condo building near Woodridge and South LaFox Street. Officers got to the scene and was confronted by a man with a shotgun. He fired at officers, but police say officers did not shoot back. The suspect was in one of the units armed with a shotgun and a rifle with a scope. About four hours into the negotiation, police say the suspect came out and began shooting at officers again, and that's when officers fired back shooting and killing him. It's a very trying situation. Any officer that has to deal with that, um, again, thankfully the training paid off and they did very well. It was an active shooter situation which is going to draw a lot of attention and officers will come and assist. Other agencies are willing to allow that to happen as well. So again, it's still a very active scene out here. Police have been out here for hours now, and they are still in the early stages of this investigation. Police tell us they can expect to give us more information about the SWAT situation. An officer involved shooting in about two hours at the police department. Reporting live in South Elgin, V1 CBS 2 News. Marissa, back to you. Uh, thank you, V.